Hey guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade team. For April week one, we've got a brand new month coming at us. Our new life app for the month, which is so perfect for celebrating Easter this month, is hope. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. In this very first week, our Bible story is about when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And our bottom line is, whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. So um, this month, our memory verse cards have changed up a little bit because kids can get tickets for knowing their life app and also knowing their memory verse. So both of these things are on these magnet cards that they can all take home this week. So hope, believing that something good can come out of something bad. And this month, our memory verse is, in this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John 16, 33. So remember, tell kids, um, this week they can earn a ticket from knowing their memory verse from last month, but next week, if they know both of these things, they can go out to the store in the front and tell them both of these things and get a ticket for knowing both of them. In your room, as small group leaders, you're only going to be responsible um, for, at most, giving out two tickets on a Sunday. One ticket just for the kids being here, and then a second ticket you can use um, for good behavior, good listening, if one kid is really doing a great job in the morning, just kind of using that if they're working together and um, showing teamwork or following directions well. So then make sure that you hand out this to all the kids each this week, and then also our card conversation. Tells parents we're talking about Lazarus. Our main question is how do you react when bad things happen? And then just kind of gives them some other things in a little blog on the back to think about. So jumping into our leader guide for this week, we'd love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room. It's been a great time just to get to know each other better and to also just hear what's going on in each other's lives, just to be praying for each other. And we're also going to be praying this week just to ask God that he helps kids to understand um, Oh, this is still left over from last month. Sorry, I forgot to change that. But just that kids would understand that God is powerful and that he can do anything, even things that are impossible. So we'll be finished with that at 8.30 and 10.30 for you to make sure that you are in your small groups by that time, ready for kids to roll in. And when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, just make sure that you know everybody's name. Welcome, everybody. Last week, we had 90 kids in second through fourth grade between first and second service, which is a lot more than what we usually have. So make sure that you get to know kids' names. When you have first time guests, make sure that you're really welcoming them, asking them what school they go to. Um, you can be asking kids what they're looking forward to about Easter. And also just kind of don't be shocked if we have big groups. Just kind of come in expecting it to be a little crazy and just have fun with the kids. That's why it really helps to be prepared. So this very first activity, I've tested it a few times, and it has not worked the way that I thought it would work, but you've got these two pages, one with arrows, one with lines, and you're supposed to put it behind this jar and then fill up the jar with water from the pitcher, and they're supposed to change places. But what I noticed is they don't really change places, they just get bigger. So I think the point is it's supposed to seem impossible, but I don't know, maybe some of you are like more engineers and you can figure out how that's supposed to work. I'll have to go back. And if it's lame and it doesn't work, you can just skip that activity and just welcome kids as they come into your group. So then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do an um, interactivity called overreaction. So you've got a sheet um, on your carts that says overreactions. And there's a bunch of different scenarios on the sheet. So you're going to read a scenario and then you're going to ask kids to silently act out a reaction they might have to the scenario. So the first one says, you just scored a goal in a soccer game. So what would they do? Your dog got out of the fence in your yard. How would you react? And then you'll just close that activity down by saying, so guys, each day is full of situations that cause big reactions and strong emotions in us. And some of those are normal, regular reactions. And some of them are just way over the top. And today in large group, we're going to hear about a situation that caused a pretty big reaction. So then you'll head across the hall to large group. We've got live storyteller and host this week where they will hear the story of Lazarus being raised from the dead. When you get back, you're going to do a review activity called It Can't Be Done. So what you're going to do is you're going to have kids review the story. So let them say, hey, what did you guys remember from the story today? Here's a few questions to get them started. Who are the main people? Why did Lazarus' sisters feel sad and hopeless? What did Jesus do to help? What today, did today's story prove? How powerful God is? 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to do something that seems impossible. So I did this already, and it's really actually very easy. So the first thing you're going to do, each kid gets a piece of paper, and the first thing you're going to do is just fold it in half. Sorry. This is really difficult to do with one hand. First thing you're going to do is just fold it in half this way. So pretend like it's not cut yet. You're just going to fold it in half like this. Then you're going to open it up. And on one side, you're just going to cut it in half to the crease. And then you're going to flip it over. And on the other side, you're going to cut it in thirds to the crease. Okay, all these instructions are right here. It tells you what to do. I'm just showing you. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one half of this and flip it over. So then it, you've got this middle piece that's sticking up and it looks like, wow, how'd you fold that? That's impossible because that piece doesn't fit there and it doesn't fit there. How'd you make it happen? So kids can show this to their parents today and say, can you guys figure it out how I did that? And their parents are gonna be like, no, how'd you do that? It's impossible, okay? So that's the impossible fold. So then you're gonna say, so guys, Lazarus' sisters must have felt helpless when they were watching him struggle as he was sick and then they probably felt even more helpless after he died. And it must have felt like there was no possibility of everything being okay again. They were definitely in an impossible situation. So maybe tell the kids about a time when you felt like you were in an impossible situation. Like maybe you were lost or your dog was lost. And there's a lot of times in our lives where we feel like nothing is going right and nothing will ever be okay again. But just remember that whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Nothing is impossible for him. So then for the memory verse review, you're going to help kids look up John 16, 33 for the first time and read it out loud together. You can practice the memory verse motions with them for the first time. And then you're going to stand in a circle and on your cart, you'll have a rock like this. And you're going to pass the rock around the circle and you're just going to play music from your phone in the background. And as a group, you're going to say the first word of the verse and then whoever has the rock, they're going to pass it to the next kid. And they'll say the next word, and then you'll pass the rock. And you're just going to pause the music periodically. And when you pause the music, kids are going to stop saying the verse, and they're going to spin in a circle one time before you start the music again. So then just keep going. Um, play until the verse is finished. Repeat it a few times. Let them pass the rock around and say the verse. And then you'll close it down by saying, so guys, this rock reminds us of the strength and the stone that was removed from Lazarus's grave. So grave. So pick up a rock outside today and let it remind you of this verse. Lazarus faced the ultimate trouble when he died, but Jesus showed him that even in that situation, he is powerful. And whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. So then you've got some optional small group discussion questions. Is God powerful enough to bring a dead person back to life? Um, if God is super powerful, why do you think he doesn't bring all people we love back to life? Ooh, deep questions. How do you react when bad things happen? What helps you when you need to trust God in tough situations? And then close down in prayer. On your cart, you will all have a picture of a mountain. It looks like that. So beautiful. And what you're going to do is ask kids to close their eyes and think of the biggest thing that they can imagine in nature. So a mountain, the ocean, a desert. Um, and then you've got a picture of the mountain. So then just pray together and thank God for creating those things. So here's the prayer. And then as adults come, um, ask kids to show their parents their impossible paper and tell them that what Lazarus' sisters were excited about in the story today. So there's that. Make sure kids take one of these home this week. And um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for serving. Pumped for April. It's going to be a busy month here in Oak Ridge Kids. Lots of families coming in. Super excited. We get to tell them how awesome our God is. So thank you so much for serving, and I'll see you all on Sunday.